Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi, WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, a lot of you guys are looking to get back out on the road, literally, and to be able to enjoy yourselves with some leisure time. And one of the ways you guys have been able to do that is through RVs. Well, we're excited to welcome back John Gray to our program. John is the CEO of RV. Share, which is the world's largest RV rental marketplace. We're going to talk to John not only about a recent survey that they conducted, but also what he's noticing about the traveling trends this year for 2022. John, glad to have you back on with us. Thanks for the time. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for having me back. So as I mentioned, you guys did this trends report. What are some of the things that you're noticing when it comes to travel this year? So every year we do a, a survey in, in Q4 of the prior year to to help us predict what's going to happen in travel for the year to come. And this year when we did the survey, what we found are, are a few things. The first is that people are ready to get back out and travel. Um, almost everyone we talked to, 90% of people said that they're ready to resume a normal travel schedule or kind of more travel than they were doing pre-pandemic. So people are, you know, tired of, of being cooped up. They want to get out and they want to travel. So that's definitely one of the, the first and biggest things we're seeing. We're also seeing a, a bent more toward wanting to travel in a way that connects you with nature. Um, 50% in every demographic category we have um, showed us or told us that they wanted to go on a road trip or an RV trip this year and connect, you know, with nature as well as their, their group or family. And that was particularly prominent in the millennial demographic where over 70% said that they would like to, um, to do an RV trip or a, or a road trip. And then the last one is a, a trend that has very much accelerated during the, the pandemic, which is the, the work from anywhere trend. Three-fourths of respondents said that they, the fact that they can work remotely was a key consideration in their decision to travel. And 40% of people said that they are, they are afforded more flexibility in, in their schedule and their ability to work remotely um, post-pandemic. So that is, you know, obviously a, a big change to, to how travel worked prior to the pandemic. So I'd say those were the, the three biggest findings from the survey. And, and that makes, uh, especially for what I've been hearing from my audience here, John, definitely plays into that because, again, people like the idea of being able to, to do their quote-unquote everyday things, including work these days, from anywhere, which is what makes RVShare.com such an interesting place because you're able to not only to be able to think about what you want, but also what your needs are. Is that one of the things that you've noticed has really made RV Share stand apart because people can get something that kind of meets the needs of what they need, whether we're talking about leisure or being able to work from home and still having that place to be able to do that? Yeah, I think that's true. I think, you know, in a word, the thing that has changed in travel is it's become more flexible. You're seeing a lot more people extend their trips, work for part of it and play for part of it, you know, things like that. And, and RV Share, you know, kind of what we sell is we, we connect people who have RVs to people who are looking to go on an RV trip. And RVs are almost definitionally a flexible travel option. So they, you know, enable you to, um, you know, to take your, your kitchen with you, to take your bathroom with you, to, you know, go to a music festival and be right there at the music festival, to go to several different places on a trip. And so, you know, as people have more flexibility in their daily lives, we're just a travel option that kind of meets nicely with that. Even I love the fact that you can even have it delivered. Uh, again, that that is the great thing too, depending on uh, where you are and where you're going. So, with with all of that said, John, and, and of course the, the excitement there and the desire, I think, for people just to get out anywhere. Uh, where do you see RV travelers heading out this year? So we always see national parks as a top destination, and we expect that to to be the case again this year. 
Um, you know, Yellowstone will probably be our top destination for the year, but you'll also see a lot of people going to the Smoky Mountains. You'll see a lot of people going to the Grand Canyon. Um, you know, a lot more of these, what I would call bucket list um, type of road trips, you, you will see as people are, are more willing to travel longer distances in the upcoming year than, than they were during the, the kind of peak of the pandemic. Um, so so that, that will be top. But we're also seeing some other places emerge. We're seeing people replace cruise trips to Alaska with RV trips and, and take um, RVs out to, you know, the last frontier in Alaska. We're seeing people use RVs to go to the, the parks at Disney to kind of make a road trip out of the way to get there and then staying nearby at, at a campground called Fort Wilderness um, down by Disney in, in Florida. And, and then the other thing that we're seeing emerge is, is people using RVs for events. Like I said, music festivals, but also sporting events, tailgating, things like that. People are really taking advantage of the, the fact that an RV is a, is a very flexible accommodation item, and they're using it in, in all sorts of ways. That great information, John, as always. Again, everyone, John Gray has been our guest, the CEO of RV Share. If you guys are just now discovering RV Share, invite you guys to head over to RVShare.com. Again, it's RVShare.com. There they make it very easy for you guys to see where you can be able to uh, pick up, even see if it can be delivered. Also, as you just heard, John mention some great destination ideas as well. John, really appreciate you stopping back by and looking forward to our next chat together. Thanks so much, Cyrus. Have a good day. Hey you as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.